In this video, I'm going to show you how to um, solve for the, the currents that are going through this circuit, right? And I'm going to use something called network reduction, okay? Network reduction is where we're going to take parts of the circuit and reduce them, like, like this 12 and the 24 here. I'm going to pretend that that's just like one resistor, right? So uh, what I'm going to do here is circle this, right? These guys are in parallel. And the resistance of the circled part here is 12 to the minus 1 plus 24 to the minus 1 to the minus 1, right? The whole thing to the minus 1. That's the, the formula is uh, R is, you know, 1 over R1, 1 divided by 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2, right? But this is the way I type it into the calculator because it's faster, okay? So uh, let's figure that out, right? Parenthesis 12 to the minus 1 plus 24 to the minus one, the whole thing to the minus one, right, is eight. Comes out even. Now, this is a series circuit. I've got a 17, a seven. I'm gonna pretend this is just an eight ohm resistor and that that's a five, right? So my current that goes here, and kind of, right, we'll, we'll worry about what it does inside there later, right? But that current, I is just gonna be V over R, I'm using Ohm's law here, right? That's going to be 17 divided by 7 plus 8 plus 5, because that's what we, that's volts and these are ohms, right? Um, that's how we solve uh, series circuits, right? Okay, so 17 divided by parentheses 7 plus 8 plus 5, right? And I'm going to store that in A just for fun, okay? That is 0.85 amps. Okay, so it, I know it says find the power dissipated by each resistor. The power dissipated by this one would be I'm going to use power as I squared R. Right, so I can go 0.85 squared times five. Right, so squared times five. 3.6125 watts, and there it is. Right, okay, so that's about 3.6 watts. And I'm not going to do all of those. If I find the current, you'll be able to do this, okay? Now, this is the key step. What I have to do, this 8 ohm resistor is not an 8 ohm resistor. It's really a 12 and a 24. If I want to find the current through these guys, what I have to do is I have to find the voltage from here to here. I'm going to have to find the voltage across the reduced circuit, okay? To do that, I'm going to do V equals IR, okay? So the voltage point to point, right, from that point to that point is IR, right, that's going to be 0.85 amps times the 8 ohms that that is all together, right, okay, so 8 times 0.85 is 6.8 volts, Ta-da! now here is the key concept. Now I can redraw this. I can get rid of the whole rest of the circuit and look at this. And I know that there's 6.8 volts across just that. So let's draw a picture of this. Okay? Let's go. Here we go. So this is 6.8 volts. Right? This is 12 ohms. This is 24 ohms. Right? I've just I've just redrawn that. Right? Okay. Only now we're only looking at this part. We were ignoring the seven and the five. We're looking at the 12 and the 24. Okay. Well, now we're set. This is a parallel circuit. This is easy. Right? It's drawn funny, but it's definitely a parallel circuit. Right? So the current through here. Right? The current through the 12 ohm resistor is I, I, it's just that voltage, right? There, there exists 6.8 volts from here to here, right? 6.8 is drawing, is driving a certain amount of current through the 12 and less current through the 24 because it's more resistance, right? So the current through the 12 ohm resistor is just 6.8 volts divided by 12 ohms, right? So 6.8 divided by 12 is 0.5 six repeating amps, right? Okay, and then the current through the 24 is just simply going to be 
well, there's one voltage and many currents in a parallel circuit, right? So that's going to be 6.8 volts divided by 24, right? That's a 2. It's trying to be a 1, then it's a 2, right? Okay. Not surprisingly, it'll be half of that, right? So 6.8 divided by 24, and that's 0.283 bar, right? Amps. Now, what do you suppose it is if I add this to this? What will I get? Will I get my 0.85? Well, let's just see, right? It's 6.8 divided by 12 plus 6.8 divided by 24. Ta-da! There we go, right? All of those repeating decimals add up to 0.85, okay? That's the basic concept. What you do, step by step, right, is you reduce by circling resistors like we did with, net, with uh, network resistors, right? Reduce until solvable. Solvable. How do you spell solvable? I don't know. Is there an E in there? Reduce until solvable, right? Step one, right? Step two, solve it. Solve the thing. So in this case, we reduced it until it was a series circuit, a 7, 8, and a 5, right? We solve that. And step three, find the voltage across the reduced part, right? And then go back to the beginning. Solve that thing, right? Find the voltage across the reduced part, solve it, reduce, you know. And, and at most, in, in this class, we're going to have to do this process twice. Okay? Here we had to do it once. Okay, so, so there it is. The next example, um, is uh, uh, far better, and you should watch that and, and get the notes on that, okay?